kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and snitchels of noodles. White yeast to fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're back. Oh, it's, it's so great to see you again. I was worried something might have happened to you. But I can see that you're here. Wait, what's that on your arm? Don't try and hide it from me. I know you only see me as an apprentice, but... Even I understand that when you're hurt, can only mean something bad. You're one of the most powerful warlocks this century has ever seen, and at such an age as well. You really need to be more careful, you know that? D don't try and wave me away, sir. Now sit down. I- I'm serious, please. Just sit down. Let me take a look. Now roll up your sleeve. Hmm. It's really rugged, the scar. And that blue and green coloration does not appeal to good nature. Sir, while I look in your medical books, can you at least tell me what happened, please? Thank you.
You are fighting a dragon. Like an idiot. Nothing. Please continue. So, you're fighting a dragon. Let's see. Dragon. dragon and flip the cut onto your arm. No, oh, sorry, I forgot. I don't like the word cut because it's too babyish. Hey, I'm being honest at least unlike you. Okay. How did the dragon inflict the wound on you? Better. The claw. How did you get that close and not die? Even a powerful warlock like yourself knows that dragons are one of the most dangerous animals out there to us. No, to you. Sorry, I forgot. I'm just the apprentice. Claw, 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 claw. No, claw. Okay, there are a lot of claw bites. Do you remember what color the claw was? I know, a little detail. Though it could mean, you know, you being dead or alive from your own stupidity. Purple. gangrenous wound, which I hate to tell you, but that is not cute. Oh, it is a little. Nothing happens. Gangrenous wound. You must perform a ritual of healing along with creating a cream consisting of blood. Lovely. Your blood probably looks quite nice. Yes, that pales. Yes. Blood, um, dog hair, rabbit's foot, and hair of a fallen angel. Oh boy. Oh, we used a lot of that in the last screen. We had to make for that idiot. Idiot girlfriend of yours. Sorry, but she is an idiot if you ask me for going after a snaggle tooth like that without any preparation and without even knowing anything about the magic wall that much besides you telling her hardly anything, you know, because you want to shelter her. perform a healing ritual on yourself, you're just gonna have to trust me for a change. Oh, I know you hate the idea of me doing it, but you're just gonna have to man up and let your apprentice actually help you. You know, not like you've let me do anything since that girlfriend came around. Just saying. Now then, 
going to have to stay still for once in your life. No, pass your arm. I said pass it. Oh, come here. Turn it one side up. If it hurts, I'm not sorry. You should be Now, it won't get worse than you've let it get already. You've been away for a week. And you left me here with just one note saying you'd be back soon. I've not been able to leave here for a whole week. Why? I couldn't leave this place in the capable, or sorry, very uncapable hands of that idiot girlfriend of yours. No, could I? So she did try to come in, though so I just had to send her packing for a bit. Now, shut up, don't start on me yet, and let me just see if we have all the ingredients for the cream. color. Oh, definitely not the right ingredient. Who does he think he is? Just using me like this all the time. I could have been a well-trained warlock by now if it wasn't for him. No, it's not his fault. He's a brilliant tutor. But if she was out of the picture, and she had never walked into his life, then I could have been in her place. And we could have been really, really powerful together. Yeah, we really could. What am I saying? We still could be. He knows I've harbored feelings before. It wouldn't be that much of a shock if I told him, would it? What am I saying? Of course I love him. 
He's known this time as well. That's why he let her into his life. I've been so blind. Clearly, he was just trying to make me jealous, clearly. Yes, of course. It's just like him as always. He's always so stubborn and won't admit his feelings for anything. And the way he looks at her, he never looks happy. Though before, he always looked happy. Yes, if I just... But if I heal him, he'll go straight to her and tell me sorry that he left me in charge and didn't leave her instructions. But if there's no angel hair, then he can't go. If he came in contact with her even after the spell, <laughs> He'd poison her. Oh. I should do it. Oh, God. I mean, which choice do I make? I could let him accidentally kill her slowly. To teach him for teasing me like this. But no, no. It would be much more joyous if he was trapped in here and I finished the job myself and showed him he'd be so happy to hear that she was gone and it was just me and him. Oh, we're perfect together. We both come from the same world. We're both fueled with magic and she, she is nothing but a pesky little bug of a human. Oh, she'll regret ever coming near him. I'll make sure that she doesn't survive and that she's tortured painfully for becoming between us. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, I'm just looking around for that fallen angel hair. It looks like we don't have any. I know, I thought we had some left over too, but remember that other girl came in? The one from the mage's council. There was that sick child and she needed some? Yeah, I guess I must have gave her all of it. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. No, you can't go and get it, especially in your state. I mean, a fallen angel threw a dagger into that, that could kill you. And you can't leave here, remember? I mean, if you even come near a mortal, that kind of wound even after me performing a very high-class healing spell. You could end up hurting her, or scarring her. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Of course we wouldn't. We wouldn't want harm to fall on your precious girlfriend's head, would we? That's exactly why I didn't want her coming in here, sir. I know that you trust her, but if she had come in here and started looking around for curious nature that helped her find her way into your heart, then she could have got hurt. I swear, sir, I only have the best intentions in my heart for you. So, there's some tea sitting in the kitchen and I stocked up the fridge just yesterday so there's enough food here to last a few days. I'll go and get you some supplies. Some clothing and stuff. I'll explain everything to her and then I'll go find you some angel hair and then we can make you all better. Right? Oh, I'm so glad you trust me. It means a lot. You're the best warlock a girl could ever be tutored by. I can't wait to work even more with you when I get back. <laughs> I promise I'll be back soon. So just sit tight and wait for me, okay?